What's up guys, this is Esteban here with BYP Tactical. Um, to new viewers, welcome. To past viewers, welcome back. And on today's channel, we're gonna talk about Core Essentials Belt. Uh, before we continue, please like and subscribe and hit the bell at the bottom so you get notifications for future videos. And uh, let's get started. <music> So again, we're talking about core essentials belts today. Um, before we get started, I just want to knock it right out the bag how much the cost is and what they are, right? So this one is the X1 Gunmetal. This one is at about $59.99. It's an inch and a half thick. Um, and this one is the G1 Black Tactical. Runs at about $69.95. Um, right now, I check those pricings and. Just another, I don't have extra ones, but if you wanted to change the belt buckles because they're interchangeable, you, it's like, believe like only $19.99 right now, you get different styles. But anyways, so let's talk about the belts. So you notice how I'm grabbing them. They're pretty stiff. Do you see that? How they hold solidly like that. That's how you know when it's a good belt. Now, the difference between these two belts, like I said, one is inch and a half thick. Another one is inch and three quarters thick. Um, I've had these for about a year and I want to say I've used the crap out of them more this one this is my work belt so the inch and three quarters one is my work belt as you could tell I've you know done some damage to it already um, but considering that I've had it for a year and it's holed up the way it has I mean I'm pretty impressed with it um, now let's talk about why these belts are so special so for one these are ratcheting style belts which means they ratchet so you hear that it's locked in trying to push that away I couldn't do it but you can tell from the inside they're ratcheting and when you want to loosen them all you have to do is do that right you just press the button and boom you're loose now <clears throat> as far as durability I could definitely attest to these because again I've used this for work I sweat in them I rub them against crap um, I'm an engineer by the way so I do get down and dirty a lot of places. I'm constantly in hot places because of boilers and stuff. And so when I say sweat, I sweat in these things. And you can't really tell, but the leather has held up pretty damn good. Um, now I will tell you, these are meant for like one size fits all. Now, when you say one size fits all, pretty much at the very most, I believe is 54 uh, waist. Uh, so if you you know wear jeans, like I myself, I'm a 38 by 30. So 54 waist is the most that these belts are capable for. So again, one size pretty much does fit on how you adjust it. So when you get the belt, um, when it first comes ship and whatnot, you'll see it like this. So here's the buckle. See how it has numbers right there. And all you would have to do is pretty much grab like a really straight blade and just cut it uh, or score it, whatever you want to call it. And you rip it up and you're good to go and you pretty much put the bulk on it has two set screws right here you put the two set screws and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll so um yeah so let's see how it looks with holsters which i have two holsters here one is uh they're actually both appendix carry but one is two style clips holster one and two and one's one clip style so um yeah i didn't really know how we could film this video as far as showing off the belt without it's being showing it off kind of weird you know i don't know i really explained it but um anyways by the way when i conceal and carry and i use my belts and whatnot personally i like to put my buckle um pretty much towards the left side i actually missed the loop there uh when i say left side i mean like um i would say maybe i think like 11 o'clock 10 o'clock um, what that means is like pretty much, let's just say you were uh, positioned like a clock, then you know, 12 o'clock would be like this, and then uh, one o'clock would be this way, 11 o'clock would be this way. So I like to put my buckle on my side just because I appendix carry a lot. And uh, the clips do interfere sometimes, so why I like to have them out of the way. So yeah, so here you go, almost done. Pretty stiff. Here you go, now here's when you hear that's actually working, ready? You hear that that's how you know it's working perfectly boom all right so this is how 
the belt would look, right? Looking to it, it's like a regular belt, which by the way, these are my 511 Defender jeans. Uh, you can't really see them that good, but they're super flexible. I'm gonna be putting up a video because I actually got two pairs of these and they're super comfortable. And uh, again, by the way, I'm using, like I said earlier, I have two holsters, which is Works holster, which is for my P3 Tunny um, with the old light on it. And uh, I will be putting a review about this one. And this one is my Bravo concealment holster, uh, Pendix carry as well for my P320. Uh, we'll be putting up a video of these as well. So look forward to those. Um, anyways, before we start, just wanna make sure you know I'm being safe. So nothing chambered, completely closed. Um, I just put the magazine in there to kind of get the feel of the weight and how it holds on the host on the belt, I mean. So let's go ahead and put it on. So. Now for me, I like to wear my belt just a tad loose, so you can see. This is concealability of it. There you go. And again, super efficient. You know, I mean, it's nothing to them. They're pretty. They hold up pretty good. Now they do see on their website um, the belt that I have on, which is the inch and three quarters belt. They recommend not to use for uh, in waistband and appendix carry, which is what I'm doing now. I haven't had any issues with it. I've been using it like this for about a year. Um, I think the reason why I say is because most um, holsters don't have the itch and three quarters clip so it could clip onto your belt. So like right now, can't really tell from the video, but it's not clipping on all the way, but it holds good. See, like it's not, holster's not going anywhere, you know? So there's that one. Now let me show you the two clip style one. So. I'm gonna take off the holster. I'm gonna take off actually the o light because on my uh, Bravo concealment, there is um, no, pretty, pretty much I can put a light in there. So again, we're being safe. Here we go. So here is Bravo concealment, which by the way, um, if you're looking for a holster for a full size gun, because this is a full size uh, 4.7 inch barrel, both of these holsters are very good for concealability. And again, I would be putting up a video up later on so you guys could check that out. But here you go. So these are the two, um, what do you call it? The two clip style appendix carry. So kind of hugs my body. And I am a bigger guy. I'm like right now weighing at like around 240. Used to be bigger, like around 280, 290. I'd still wear these holsters. So now let's talk about, well, again, how the belt holds your fire mark up. Like it does not move, it's it's in there good. But let's talk about another thing. So when I'm walking around, like for example, in the summertime, and I like to have my belt as tight as possible, right? Reason why is for concealability and make sure your gun's not moving around and stuff, right? But let's just say I'm about to get into the car. The good thing about these belts is, I don't know if you remember, I put the, showed a little latch on there. So I'm about to get into my car. Right, I am a bigger guy, so I have to adjust my belt when I get in and off the car. All I have to do is press this, right? Sit down, gun just adjusted by itself. I didn't have to do anything, back at it again, it adjusted itself, it loosened up. You couldn't really see it, obviously, because it's under my shirt. But let's just say I'm getting off the car and I'm going back to walking around in the store or whatever. All I gotta do is get up, tighten it up and I'm Back in business, ready to go. So, yeah, pretty good stuff here. Um, keep telling you these belts are really good. Again, I am using the inch and three quarters, which they strongly recommend not to use if you are appendix carry and uh, in waistband carrying. However, I just proved how they're pretty good. Uh, it really depends on the holster you have. If your holster has a crappy clip, you probably shouldn't have that holster. These both holsters I have are quality holsters. I will be putting a video up and uh, that's pretty much it guys. So um, again, this is the inch and a half. So pretty much this does exactly what this does as well, except for this is thicker. So there's nothing much to it. I just showed off how you can conceal and carry with them. I show them how thick they are, how durable they are and Okay, let me show you one more thing. So I talked about how you could tell how a gun belt is good or not, right? Because how it holds up the stiffness. So I'm gonna put it on the very last latch possible, right? 
So, boom, last latch right there. Look at how that holds up still. I'm not, there's no, there's no like magic here. This belt is holding up like that, almost like if it was like a plate. Same thing with this one. They hold up really good. So again, this one is $59.99. This one is $69.99. Go get yours. And uh, before you leave, please, again, like and subscribe. Hit the bell at the bottom. So therefore you get notifications for my upcoming videos. And until uh, next time.